That growing firestorm over the top aide Rob Porter forced out after two ex-wives accused him of abuse. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has the latest. And Cecilia, I was watching your colleagues in the briefing room yesterday. Chief of Staff John Kelly, other top aides facing mounting questions. How long do they know about these allegations and why didn't they take action? Yeah, George, and you probably saw that the White House didn't have very many answers to any of those questions. Now that this story has exploded, Rob Porter is officially off of the job. He packed up his office here yesterday and left this after the White House had initially said he would stay on the job after resigning to oversee a smooth transition. With the West Wing in crisis mode, overnight Chief of Staff John Kelly sent a letter to staffers telling them the White House takes matters of domestic violence very seriously. This as the administration faces mounting questions about exactly how long Kelly knew of those bombshell abuse claims made by former Staff Secretary Rob Porter's two ex-wives. His first ex-wife releasing this photo to ABC saying he punched her in the face in 2005. In that letter, Kelly never mentioned Porter's name, but he offered counseling assistance, saying, we understand the shock, pain, and confusion that these allegations have caused in our workplace. Both women tell ABC News they told the FBI about Porter's alleged abuse when they were interviewed during a background check for his White House security clearance. And they say Porter contacted them after, one telling the Washington Post he asked if she used the word violent in her interview. His second wife, Jenny Willoughby, says she told them everything. They were asking me to describe his character, asking me to describe um, anything that I thought might be problematic in his position. I was very candid and, and frank and detailed with them um, about my marriage. And his first wife, Colby Holderness, tells ABC in late 2016, another woman reached out to her, accusing Porter of repeated abuse, saying he's legitimately susceptible to blackmail and shouldn't have that clearance. According to the Washington Post, White House counsel Don McGahn was made aware of the abuse allegations at least three separate times and that Kelly knew about them as early as this fall. When the allegations first broke, Kelly called Porter a man of true integrity and honor. But Kelly's second statement said he was shocked by the new allegations and that there is no place for domestic violence, but that every individual deserves the right to defend their reputation. The White House saying Kelly's new statement was largely prompted by the release of the graphic photos. Are you saying that the chief of staff of this White House had no idea that Rob Porter's two ex-wives had domestic violence allegations against him when they made those claims to the FBI that John Kelly did not know that? How is that possible the chief of staff did not know that? And the chief of staff does not get uh, detailed updates about what may or may not have been alleged. This is a process. Porter is romantically linked to White House Communications Director Hope Hicks, the White House not saying whether she helped write the statements commending Porter. But I would say that all the statements were crafted by a number of senior White House officials. Porter denies abusing his ex-wives, saying the outrageous allegations are simply false. I took the photos, and the reality behind them is nowhere close to what is being described. As for what President Trump knew and when, the White House will only say he learned of questions surrounding Porter's security clearance as reports surfaced in the press. He was surprised by it. Uh, he was disheartened by it. He was saddened by it. So now a rare admission of fault from this White House that Deputy Press Secretary Raj Shaw says that they could have done better, George, in dealing with this situation. Right, say, but it's not just messaging right now. More questions for John Kelly about how he's managing the White House and whether others have issues with their security clearances. Yeah, because of these abuse allegations, Rob Porter was never granted a permanent security clearance. Uh, he basically was here for a full year working on a temporary pass because of these allegations. And he wasn't alone. Jared Kushner, the president's own son-in-law, is still on one of these temporary security clearances. We're told that John Kelly has been frustrated by the number of aides still on these essential temporary passes. Sources tell us there's been some chatter here in the West Wing about possibly letting these people go. But so far, George, no plans to carry any of this action out. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much.